Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today is the 11th of September. Holy Mother, the Church celebrates Saint Paphnutius. Saint Paphnutius was an Egyptian who followed Saint Anthony the Abbot. And in the year around the third century, he was in the desert following the monk. Then later, uh, he went towards the upper Tibet and there he was made the bishop of that region. During the persecutions of Maximus, the tyrant, he was taken as a prisoner and his right eye, right eye and left knee were severed. So they removed his right, knee, right eye and they mutilated his left knee. And then he was sent for work in the mines. There he, he was for a long period of time. But after which he came back, he took his position as the bishop and he did a lot of service to the church, especially against Arianism, against Arianism and ag against other heresies which were eating up the faith of people. And it is said that uh, Emperor Constantine, the Roman Emperor who became a Christian, and with whose coming all the persecutions ended, this Roman Emperor Constantine had a special love for Paphnutius. And he, whenever he had any doubts, Constantine used to go and ask him. And whenever in his presence, the first thing Constantine used to do is he used to go and kiss the place from where the eye was plucked out for Paphnutius as a sign of respect for his sacrifice. Paphnutius was a huge fighter against the heresies in the church and he supported, he supported all the doctrine of the faith and especially when it came uh, in the year 325 AD when it came regarding the decision about the priests who were already ma married and then ordained later about their continence. He said that once they were married and they were ordained, then we are not going to touch them, let them continue. But those who are once ordained, they shall remain continent, they shall not marry. That's what he supported and from there the celibacy of church, the whole dogma, the whole doctrine of celibacy was subtly formed. He also has a huge say in the whole debate against Arianism where he stood firmly with Saint Athanasius against Arianism and he was one of the warriors of the faith. Great Fafnius he is called, Saint Fafnius the Great. Eyes plugged, knee mutilated and you know why they do this right and left? Because person loses his balance. From the left part, the limb is removed and from the right side, the eye is removed. No, no balance of the body and yet his balance of faith was much more greater and he did greater works with one eye and one limb, so one leg. So that's how we are also called with two eyes, two legs, two hands. So what am I doing for God? Lord, help me to have balance of faith. Amen.